So following on then from the Escort Mexico, we meet its younger brother, you might say, with the Mark III Escort XR3i. Now, if there is a car that I'm kicking myself for not buying, it's one of these. I had an opportunity to buy one in the mid 90s and passed it up. And to this day, I regret it. And having seen this one in the flesh, I really do kick myself now that I didn't make that purchase. The Mark III Escort was particularly significant for Ford because Mark I and Mark II had been a rear-wheel drive car and this was a front-wheel drive with a hatchback as well, giving our customers much more flexibility. Of course, not only did that mean that the styling was a lot better packaged, the vehicle could be more efficient and it spawned several body styles as well, from a three-door to a five-door to an estate and even a convertible and of course the all-important commercial vehicle variants. But for me, my heart will always belong to an XR3i, seeing them in the mid-80s and early 90s as I did.